me no let my man. Where there was once river, there will be dry land. And where there was once dry land, there will be rivers. I see topography being altered in the spirit. In the coming years, I'm seeing topographies being altered. I'm seeing places with rivers drying, becoming patch lands. And places without rivers, I'm seeing flood. Topographies are being altered. The Lord told me, say, we're entering into the seasons of the grasshoppers. As I'm seeing this vision. It's the seasons of the grasshoppers. The seasons of the eaters of labor. These the seasons of famine. That the Lord is showing me coming. I'm seeing giant grasshoppers. And I'm seeing on their body. Their belly is green. And then as you advance up a little. It's a little patch brown. And then it's pain. On the feather. On the and the Holy Ghost began to make me understand that the grasshoppers are about to eat the harvest. And then they are about to spread famine across the world. There is a season of famine coming. This season of famine is going to begin to register proper in 63 days. But I see something that looks like white birds, white birds flying above the grasshoppers. And this is the Holy Ghost giving his church an edge over the famine. So within 63 days for the church, there's going to be an opening. There's going to be a window open. And God is going to begin to make a distinction between Goshen and the rest of the part. He said, do not think peace is yet to come to the world. There's still a little turmoil that will be seen across the land. I'm taking to Cameroon right now in the spirit. I'm seeing something that looks like water and rain. And it's drenching everywhere. Terribly. And it's looking like this water and rain is forming you know, waves that is beating up and down. God is causing a revival in Cameroon. But it is going to disrupt. There's going to be a disruption in their political the political system there. There's a disruption. There is a wave I see moving across Africa. And it's a wave of disruption I see people saluting and those people became kings and they were holding scepters and they were being saluted and there too they were dressing in uniform and I prophesied this and I'm seeing it becoming a wave that's going to be moving from Eastern Africa and it's going to keep moving there's going to be the troubling of powers. But this is unnecessary. Because it's going to be a way that God is going to use to exalt Joseph. That will bring wisdom to the people in the days of the famine to come. Within 63 days. There's going to be a global economic meltdown. Shalom as the Lord has shown me before I still, repeating, I still see repeating itself again I see outright removal of embassies outright removal of embassies from places there's a recall I see a recall of embassies and ambassadors that is going to begin to show his face around January and February from countries who are going to begin to break ties. As the world begins to divide into four great factions. Five, but the fifth is not yet strong. So it's going to be four visible great factions. And I hear something, the great Indian war, the great Indian war, 
the great Indian war. We are going to begin to, as we step into 2023, we are going to begin to see India put on the spotlight. And it's going to be a very great turmoil. I see this battles intensifying to the sea. It's going to be the sea battle. It's going to be like an intensity on the sea. Like on, on the sea, a very great intensity that's going to shake the nations. A great intensity on the sea. Watch out for the waves of the sea. It's going to be a great intensity. It's going to trouble the world. But there's going to be peace for the saints. There's going to be peace even in the midst of the storm. For the saints of God. I'm, I'm, I'm asking God what is the definite word for Nigeria and the Lord is saying in the spirit I keep hearing the way it's going, we don't like it. We reject it. We reject what is being said or what is being done because it's not tilted to our favor. And I see the West angry. We reject what's being done. It's not tilted to our favor. In the middle of this procession, of this change in power, there's a revolt. I say, no. Let's stop this thing and redo it again. Or, no, let's stop this thing and readdress it. Yeah. But see, 2023 is a very strategic point in Nigeria's bet. There are many outcomes that are already being laid out. And it's okay, these outcomes are the things that are going to be done to counter this. If this happens, this is what we're going to do. If this outcome comes out, this is what we are going to do. But I see something that looks like a like a very raging tornado. A raging tornado. And the tornado is transit. Youthful transit. There's a, there's a transiting. It's not going to be easy. It's going to cause a battle that will last six months. I am mean nine months, sorry. Nine months. It's going to cause a battle that will last nine months. But there's going to be a transiting. And the minds of the youth will be acknowledged. But there's a warning I receive from the Lord. It's going to be as in the days of Saul. They are going to take your women. They are going to take your lands. They are going to take your property. Does Israel still want a king? Oh, I don't know. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing like a sudden change of of authority or government or something around israel like there is a sudden swap a sudden swap we pray for the peace of jerusalem yeshua hamashiach's name we pray for the ember months we speak protection by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray for the airspace. We speak preservation by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Elanda Mayada. We pray for the ninth of next month. We cancel sudden destruction. Ninth, ninth day, the ninth day of November. We cancel sudden destruction. We pray for the 22nd day of December. We pray for the 22nd day of December. We cancel unrest. Unrest. We cancel panic in the field. We cancel panic in the field, in the homes and in the field. At the power of the Holy Ghost. This Christmas will not be spent in fear and terror of war. This Christmas will not be spent in burnt down cities. May God spare lives. May God spare lives across, across the world. This Christmas, may God spare lives across the world. Bless everyone here with the blessings of God, with the favor of God, with the hand of God's power, with the hand of God's power.